to put the the request out there to get some questions in from the fans. As you can imagine, there's some some interesting ones. Um, so just to get you started, we've got he's called Hudlin's Massive on Twitter. Don't don't ask about that. You're on a desert island. Uh, three people you want to have with you. It's got to be what from the club or just in general. I'm guessing in general, but it can be from the club if you want to make it easier for yourself. Um, if in general, I'd just say my two brothers and my sister, really. Yeah, and then um, to be fair, someone said something pretty similar called Sylph, and he says, if you're stuck on a desert island, would you rather be a sour marsh or chislet? Oh, Abe. Yeah? Yeah. What is that? Uh... I think I think we get I think we get along quite well. Mm. Even though I'll probably put Marshy on the bus here because I've known him for quite quite a while. Yeah. But um, no, me and I would get on well, so I think um, it'd be it'd be decent. I think we could have some great fun. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Is there a dressing room DJ? If so, who? Uh, I'm not gonna name names, but he ain't great. <laughs> he needs to step up his game a bit, I would say. But um. Hopefully, hopefully on um, the weekend he can deliver a bit more. Yeah. Is it is it an older member of the squad or, or younger? Yeah, he's more experienced, you know, but as uh, I said again, I won't name names, but he knows who he is. Okay. Um, ben wants to know, who's the player that you idolise and what do you try to implement uh, in your game that you've seen with them? Can you repeat that again, please? So which player did you idolise when you were growing up and, and what sort of qualities do you take from them and try and implement into your game? I'd say when I was when I was younger, um, definitely when I was you know, mm. I think I've always looked up in looked up to him in a way. But um in terms of like my personal idol has always been my, my biggest brother. Yeah. Um so he, he played for he started off at Tottenham, went Burn Albion, Sheffield Wednesday, Birmingham. Um, and like just the stuff that he went through to have the career he's had, mm. like from he done his ACL, like he done his knee, so it was like he might not be the same, but his mentality was obviously, I'm going to keep going. So for me, young, I've always looked up to him and tried to like follow in his footsteps, type of thing. Yeah. So I said definitely, definitely my brother's my main idol, yeah. yeah. I take it you're really close then. Oh, Sounds yeah. like you are. Yeah, no, we're a close family. We're close. Nice, love that. Um, what are your favourite shoes? <sighs> I mean, your dunks got to be up there that you wore during your... I say just dunks in oh, general though. I just say Jordans yeah. in general. I'm not the biggest fan of, I'd say, like, designer shoes, but I do, I do love myself a pair of dunks. You know, I've seen my Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> Probably yeah. Interesting. my favorite, my favorite shoes that I've that I've got. Um, yeah, Dunks, Jordans, they're they're my go-to. Your favorite cheap food? Ah, cheap food. I haven't really got cheap food though, you know. But I don't mind sushi. Mm. I don't mind that, but that's again, that's not really. Don't have that bad on a regular food. though. Yeah, yeah, nah, you don't have that on a regular, but it's not really bad food though, is it? Nah, it's quite healthy. Yeah, so I'm not really an unhealthy type of guy to be fair, so I don't really do the McDonald's and KFCs and whatnot, so. <laughs> You'd be in the wrong industry if you were. Yeah, healthy, exactly, yeah. honestly, I would. Mm. And then George Brown wants to know who's got the best bromance in the team? Oh, PC and Brownie. Yeah. Oh, what a pair. Same kind of banner. Yeah, funny lads though. Funny, funny, and they get the group together. They're they're more experienced, so um, they 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 definitely get the team going, um, and just bring that togetherness as a whole. But I'd say them two are definitely definitely got a bromance going on. And Carl asks, how many goals do you think you'll get this season? <sighs> Could be five. Yeah, that, that to be fair, that was my personal target. Five going on to like six, seven. I say. That is my personal target, but for me, I think my priority is to bring football to the team. Yeah. So get the ball from the centre halves and try keep the ball moving. Try um, playing forward passes. Um, if I can get an assist, that would also be great. Um, and then def defensively, just um, working hard, winning my battles and stuff like that. But I I, I, I will try to get. 
five, six goals. Yeah. I'll, so, I'll do my best. Okay. Okay, we'll hold you to that. Yeah. Um, James Pritchard says, what's your favourite artist and song at the moment? Favourite artist at the moment has to be um, a person called Aja um, and a song Titanic. Yeah. Um, which is one of his. Um, so that's my that's my go-to right what now. What genre is that? Um, Afrobeats or something? No, like rap, hip hop. Oh, okay. Decent. Um, let's see what else we got here. What area of your game do you think needs the most improvement? By the way, it's not a veiled criticism from Brooklyn Don. That's a decent question, Brooklyn. Um, I'd say definitely the defensive side. Of course, I obviously I still think I can improve going forward. Like you said, that trying to add goals to my game and assists, but. Pause it, eh? Just wait That's great. Nice. Probably a question, I don't know if you... Well, I suppose you won't mind answering it. Um, what are the advantages and disadvantages of Brentford's B team compared to standard youth system, in your opinion? To be fair, I don't think there is a disadvantage because with the Brentford B setup, you play a lot of teams in the league mm. and you're, when, I, when I joined I was 18 years old so you're playing against 30 year olds, people who are experienced in that type of football and you're getting ready to play league football let's say and um, mm. at the same time you still have an opportunity to play if you played against teams like PSV, yeah. um, Monaco so it's like you get a variety of games which is obviously good for you Mm. So I would I would say there's no like real disadvantage to mm. be honest. Windlesham Don says, what is your opinion on Nathan Young Coombs, uh, his strengths and weaknesses? Baller. Yeah. Baller. Like if you give if you honestly like, if you give him if you give him a chance like he will score. Mm. Like and that's a fact that like, I know I played with him like being biased or whatever, but like last season like he was a joke. Yeah. Like you give him a chance in a game to go. Mm. Like he can, I don't know, go quiet for 20, 30 minutes, but as soon as he gets that chance, top bins. Yeah. Easy. Was he playing up front on his own or was he in the front two or um, just off the striker? Nah, on his, on his own. On his own really? the majority yeah. of the time. That's impressive. Yeah. Oh, scored about, he scored 40. Really? Good joke. Blimey. Wow, this is a controversial question. Um, go on. Hashtag Ask Paris, be honest, was it a penalty or a yellow card at the weekend? Listen, there's a saying, you always have to, you have to die with a lie, so it's a penalty. Mm. It's definitely a penalty. Yeah. But you know, the ref didn't want to give the decision on the day, mm. so I got stuck with a yellow. Fair enough. Oh, you had to pay the fine for that one. Shocking. <laughs> If you could eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh, my mum's food. Yeah? Yeah, my mum's food. What does she make? A lot of African food. Very nice. Mm. I'd say, if I could have one food, therefore, therefore, therefore mummy's food. Love that. And then Alfie Dixon says, why did Wimbledon stand up to you? Um, I think, I think it's a club that's trying to go in the right direction. It's a club that's trying to play the right football, modern football. Um, it's a club that plays a lot of young players um, at an early stage. Like you've got guys like um, JC, he's 19, he made his debut, he scored, scored on his debut as well. So obviously congrats to him. So, but you can see that's the, that's the philosophy of the club. Like, yeah, you've got a couple of experienced players to help us out. And, um, in the process and in, um, in the journey, but um, a lot of young players do break through here. Mm. Um, last season, you guys had Rudy, now he's champ Huddersfield. Yeah. So it's like there's definitely an opportunity for young players to come in and play and then progress further on. And also, of course, there's been players that's come in, Marcus Fors, Presley, um, Mads Beck. So that was obviously um, a big part of it, knowing speaking to them they've told me that it's a good club it's run well so it was just a bit more it was 
comfortable. Like I was more comfortable coming here than anywhere, anywhere else, I'd say. That's great to hear. Um, a couple more before we let you go. Who gets nutmeg the most in training? You know what? I don't know. I actually don't know. Maybe Oggs. Oh, really? Yeah, I've done him a few times. Need to keep him close. Yeah, oh. I've done him a few times. A couple of players up as well. But um, there's not, it's not a lot of nutmeg going around, to be fair. Mm. Not a lot. Need to do a few rondos. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. That's when you catch them out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then Kieran Seven says, which of the three new kits do you prefer? Um, home. Death or home. I'm a fan of lighter, lighter blue. Mm. And then the wake is obviously darker, but the home, the home ones, it's very nice. Yeah. And then last one to finish up. What tune do you rock when you want to pump yourself up for a game? Ah, uh, you know what? Yeah. Kate, Kate Bush, running. What's it? Running up the hill. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one. Wow, old school. Aye. That one there, that like before, before, before game day, proper one. Love that one. Paris, thanks very much for your time, mate, and we wish you all the best for next Saturday. Thank you. Cheers, mate.